All right, boys. Here we go. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Hello, everybody. Grace Dooblaze, and we're back with more My Summer Jail Sentence. That's right. The plan today... That sounds absolutely terrible. Okay, so... Every once in a while, my wife hears me talking to myself about uh, the things that I want to do in the game. And I, it's always like... And the suggestions that you guys give me as well. And it's always like, Gray, try to burn your house down. Gray, blow up the Setsuma. Greg, try and get arrested and go to jail. So I'm like, oh yeah, today I'm gonna try and get arrested. And my wife's like, what the hell are you talking about? And I'm like, this is very important, woman. This is my summer car stuff. Actually, I don't say it like that at all. I would get slapped across the chiclets. Hi there, buddy, how are you doing? Also, you guys are gonna be very happy because I cleaned up my car. And by cleaned up my car, I mean I moved all the beer into the back and all of the sausage into the front. I would say that this car is looking like a 10 out of 10. Now, it kind of appears like it's rolled like 30 or 40 times, and that's true. Uh, it, it has rolled 30 or 40 times. That fender looks like it's about to come off too. You're not about to pop off, are you? No, it's on there pretty good. We're gonna be just fine. So the first thing that we're gonna have to do is find some police and get some fines. Because I had to double check and I do not have any fines right now. You, you go home. You, oh God, not the music. Hold on. You go home, and if there if there's a note on your uh your kitchen, you have fines. So we have to get some of those. I have eighteen thousand marks too. So there's really not a fine I couldn't pay. But I'm not giving these jackasses anything. Oh look at you, Mr. Bus, coming around the corner looking for Gray's life, are you? Not today, jackass. Also, um, I have a feeling, I have a feeling that the, uh, our brakes are, like, super, super worn down. I know everything in the game now has a wear effect. Like, I think it's faster than it used to be, too. Because I had to, I had to fix some stuff in the car. And I'm pretty sure our brakes are, uh, going down? I think there's a wear effect on the brakes. I know they do not stop like they used to. So, police. What are the chances that you guys would be around? Because I really need you right now. Because if you're not here, I don't know what I'm going to do. Besides go looking for haunted presences at night. A lot of you guys are like, Greg, you need to go around your house with all the lights off and just the flashlight. Are you trying to give me some sort of jump scare heart attack? Is that what this is? Oh, speaking of which. So I told you guys that I would be getting some new audio equipment. I'm using it right now. So... What I'm doing is, in the world of YouTubing, there's a lot of audio upgrades that you can make. The sad part is, is that probably 80 to 90% of you won't care, <laughs> and that's totally fine. A lot of it's just to make my job easier, especially because I'm really loud, and I don't like to clip. So the audio equipment keeps me from uh, clipping. It allows me to scream my head off and not blow anyone's eardrums out a lot better just normalization of my audio pressure, let us let us say. So if I do sound like velvet chocolate butterscotch thighs, do let me know in the comments section. If I do sound like a constipated Deckard Kane getting his testicles smashed by a topless midget with a sledgehammer, do not tell me that. Just just keep keep that to yourself. Alright, man. Driving around on a Saturday. Oh shit, hold on. Oh god, oh, oh, hold on, I don't even have my friggin' seatbelt on. Always wear your seatbelt, kids! Oh god, Gray can still drive! Alright, let me go ahead and grab... Ah! There we go! That's what we need right now. Everywhere Gray goes, there's beer laying on the side of the road. I can't go two miles without seeing this. In fact, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm just gonna grab a drink and leave it there. A lot of you guys are like, Gray... You have stuff all over Finland. You are completely right. It keeps me from starving, okay? I never have to worry about dehydration or starving in this game because I'm not far from a sausage or a beer somewhere. Just driving around Finland, letting the bass blow out on my speakers. You boys know how it is. Nothing wrong with a little bass blowing every once in a while. Oh my God, I didn't have my harness on. That was, that was a kiss of death right there. That was messing with the Grim Reaper himself. I could actually feel the Lord of the Underworld 
clasping his hands together, saying, Oh, Gray, you dirty bastard. Keep that seatbelt off. Keep that seatbelt off so that I can claim your soul once more in my summer car. And with your soul, I will power the clouds that keep rain upon all of Finland. All right, now one of the things you have to do in my summer car is the lean and drink. Ready? Ready? Lean and drink. There you go. You gotta lean and you gotta drink while not looking at, oh, oh shit. It's the police, folks. All right, hold on now. Suck on my wiener, boys. <laughs> All right. Now, we've made we've made the police recognize our great speed and and fervor. So let us go ahead and let them catch up. We're going to go ahead and pull over here. Whoa! God in heaven, Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm pulled over, I'm pulled over, I'm pulled over. Please stop. Stop, stop. Okay, all right, now I'm a little bit worried, boys. I'm, all, I'm stopped, I'm stopped, I'm stopped, I'm stopped, I'm stopped. Holy shit. Oh my god. What kind of, what kind of freaking police academy bullshit was this? So how much is the ticket for? Take fine? Not today, my brother. Excuse me, folks. Gray's got something he's gotta do. Jump in the old vehicle over here. What the hell was that? Now, sadly, oh, I may actually get in the vehicle straight. I increased my uh, field of view, by the way. The field of view starts in this game at like 60. Kind of low, isn't it? I got it up to like 65. Let me know if you hate it or not. All right. Go ahead and close this. Put the old harness on. Now, I don't think that our fine is high enough, probably. I would say that we're probably going to need a better fine. So, you boys know, whenever you need to get that fine going up, there's only one thing to do. Hey! How you doing, buddy? Who else we got over here? We got one more over here. Hold on now. Hey! Oh, shit! Oh, oh! He's in my car! He's in my car! He's in my engine compartment! He's in my engine compartment! Get out of my engine compartment! Oh, shit! All right, this is bad. This is bad. Okay. This wasn't quite what I had in mind. Um, when I... Oh, shit. God. Oh, God. Don't, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Okay, good. Um, well. This is a friggin' problem, boys. This is a problem. But, nothing that we can't fix. Now, a lot of times people will say, Great, how do you get a vehicle back from being flipped over. Well, boys, if there's one thing that Gray has done about 600 million times, it's flip his car back over into place. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is finish headbutt while jumping and pushing. And a lot of times, that's gonna get you where you need to be. Now, sometimes it won't. You can see the car's being a little stubborn. There we go. So, oh, no, 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 no. Don't go out to the road. Don't go out to the road. Don't go out into the road. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Good. Good. But yes, so finish headbutt, uh, while jumping and pushing. And almost always, that will get you everything that you want and more in life. I'm going to eat this sausage real quick. Just grabbing some pieces of the car that decided to go flying. You know how it is. I think that we were pretty successful. Uh, my hope is that everything else will work well enough. I don't know. Is that one more cop over there? I think there is. Oh, there's another cop over here. Hold on. We can actually take care of this guy. Now, if you didn't see one of the last episodes, there is a secret. What the hell is that on the ground? What is that? What is that right there? This right here. What is this? What is this? Racing exhaust. Racing exhaust. How are you? How are you in the... How, hold on. Oh! Okay. Um. Well. Uh, you guys are lucky I freaking saw that. Holy shit. I. That was. That was straight up luck. Uh, I don't know how I managed to do that. Okay, well, let's let's put that inside of the vehicle as well. There we go. Uh, yeah, it'll be fine. Now, what you gotta do is you gotta grab yourself a case of beer. Alright. You're gonna approach... The individual, 
In this case, now I think that this will work for anyone, but this is just this happens to be a police officer. Now what you want to do is you want to drop your case of beer down like so. You want to get down low. All right. Well, first, hold on. Let's let's see something. Oh, he wants us to take a breath test. So this is actually perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to crank back. I don't know. We, we already have what? Speeding, failure to stop, assault and or murder. Actually, I think that was battery because we did, in fact, strike him. Uh, well, you know what? It may depend on where you are. Let's go ahead and crank down a couple of beers real quick. I do want to take that breath test. There's one more over there. And what the hell? One more over here. That should be pretty good. All right. So now that we've taken all of that, let's go ahead and give the old alcohol test. What do you think? Am I doing all right? Is old gray is old gray not on the police radar anymore? Old gray, old gray is definitely on the police radar. Okay, so we're not gonna take the fine. So instead, what we're gonna do is you and you can aim anywhere. I like to aim for the groin because that's what I learned in. No, no, no. There we go. Because that's what I learned in Chinese Kempo. In general, always go for the groin and or the eyes and neck. Because, quite frankly, it works. Oh, shit. This is a problem. Oh, shit. This is a problem. Whoa! Holy balls. Okay, that cop car went by really, really fast. Uh, let's get in our car and get home as soon as possible. Because I need to make sure that this happens without me dying first. Oh, my God. There's so many pieces inside this freaking car. Oh, I can't hit the ignition! There we go. There's too many things in the way. All right, and we're out of here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's a... Oh, okay. He's heading our way. Oh, that's good. Oh, shit. Whoa! Woo! That is some Fast and the Furious stuff right there, boy. That's how you do it. That right there is how you do it. Now, I will say we are swaying a little bit. By a little bit, I mean pretty badly. But I think we're going to make it home in one piece. I see more flashing lights up ahead, boys. I don't know if we're lapping them or if they're stuck on a tree. Sometimes the police have a tendency to get stuck on trees, barricades, barriers, in the culverts and stuff like that. Luckily, their driving skills leave a lot to be desired. I, I, although, I guess I'm the last person that should be talking. Sadly, because our exhaust has popped off once again, this thing sounds like it's going to take off into the freaking stratosphere. I know some people like their loud exhaust and their cherry bomb ex their cherry bomb freaking mufflers and all that kind of stuff. Man, I like a nice quiet ride. I don't even want to know that I'm in a car. I want it to be totally silent. I love that stuff. I like putting the music on, maybe putting the window down, listening to the wind ruffle through my hair, that sort of thing. Those sirens sounded really loud back here. I don't know if they were following me down the dirt road, but if they are, they better think twice because Old Gray, otherwise known as Rally Master McGray Lord, is a friggin' beast on these back roads. They don't know about all the times that I flipped my car and lost all my friggin' sausages back here, but I've learned my lesson. I've learned my lesson many times over. I know these, I know these back roads like the back of my friggin' hand. All right, now my field of view is starting to get a little bit obscured by my own friggin' fender. And that is becoming a, oh shit. No, 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 no. Okay, everything's fine, boys. Everything's fine. That was actually a little bit scary. I'm not gonna lie. Am I holding on my fender? Okay, good. Um, because at that speed, if we hit a tree, we may die. Uh, and then I would have to do all of this over again. Of course, you wouldn't have to know about it. I would just cry softly to myself as I restarted the game and probably restarted the, the recording process because then the episode would be way too long. Although I'm sure there's some people that would love a 45 minute episode. I think most people can only take me in short bursts. All right, yes. And, and with a smash of the front end of the car, we are freaking home. Full bladder and all. I think we did pretty good. All right. So, once I get inside here, I should see... I don't see jack shit. I would have thought there would be some fines laying out around here. It's like freaking deja vu. It's like freaking deja vu all over again. Screw you guys. I'll blow right through your stop a third time. All right. Now I'll stop. 
Maybe I have to take the fine. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe if I, maybe if I, if they hand me the fine, things will be different. All right, let me go ahead and stop over here. Very good. I'm gonna take my buckler off, get up out of here, and I will accept my fine. Will that make this work? Go ahead and hand me the fine. What do you have for me? What the crap? Oh shit, I can't read any of this. Hold on. Oh, there we go, there we go. Speeding, 132. Failing to complete, failing to comply with a stop sign. All right. I will not be paying that good, sir, but thank you very much for the fine. You have a good one. I have to go, uh, I have to go grab some others now, if you don't mind. So that was that offense. What does this one do? Let's find out. Hey. Hey there, buddy. How are you? Hold on. Ah! Oh! I thought I would get him. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, shit. Hold on. I gotta move my car out from the middle of the road. Real bad to be in the middle of the road. Let me tell you boys something. There we go. Alright. Now that we got all that done. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. I don't want to hit him with the beer yet. That would be the worst if I ended up hitting him with the beer. I just want to drink a bunch of the beers. I am letting all the urine out, though. Oh, I just thought about that. What happens if I hit him with my urine stream? Okay, it doesn't. He doesn't appear to care about all that. All right, alcohol test is given. Now to accept my fine. Let me go ahead and just squeeze a couple more drops out real quick, though. There we go. All right, what do we got fine-wise over here? All right, DUI. Hmm, failing... Point five. Failure to comply with a stop sign. Failure to obey a police officer. Nothing about... Nothing about the, the death and said... What the hell? What did that say? Oh, my net income. Oh, my God. I thought that was the cost of the ticket. That's not the cost of the ticket, is it? What is this down here? Total. 64,000 marks? Hey, tack this onto your 64,000 mark frickin' fine. What? There you go, jackass. All right, now we just have to make sure to, uh, I'm gonna help this guy out. We need to give him some CPR or something like that. So we're gonna go ahead and take him home and kind of give him a little helping hand over here. A little bit of topless gun, and this guy will be will be ready to go. It's all right. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be okay as long as he doesn't go flying out the car. Uh, it's not looking good right now. I'm not gonna lie. There we go. I figured since there was one more over there, we could go ahead and say hi to him as well. Oh no, buddy! Hang on! Hang on! No! Wow, he skidded a good long ways, didn't he? Hold on, boys. We got a couple more fines we gotta grab real quick over here. Oh, shit. Is there another police officer coming? I don't think so. All right. Go ahead and give me that fine. Go ahead and put him with the rest. Put him with the rest. Yep, fair to obey. Sounds good. Well, shit. I just went to go flip my car and my brake flew off. Well. I guess maybe old Gray doesn't know everything about pushing a car over, does he? Son of a bitch. Friggin' tire came off and everything. Hold on here. I think we're going to be just fine, though, boys. I'm going to tell you, if there's one thing I've done plenty of, it's put this car back together. We're just going to go ahead and grab our brake, throw it over there. You may be saying to yourself, Gray, you're not going to get that car home with three wheels. Oh, contraire, my man. Contraire. Gray has driven with two wheels before. This is one more wheel than I need. We're getting home one way or the other, damn it. And there you go, boys. Crisis averted. Crisis averted. Bloop. There we go. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Satsuma's gonna be just fine. Okay, this looks promising. So we've got 128,000 marks in fines. Um, that's not getting paid. So, things as they are, I guess it's time to uh, get a little shut-eye real quick and we'll see if uh, old Johnny Law pays us a visit. Well, boys, we got problems. 
Johnny Law is outside the house. So, it is not as easy as you think to get arresticated anymore. I actually had to get with the man himself, Topless Gun, in order to figure it out. Before we deal with the police, though, I have to turn off my finished super strength because, God forbid, I end up throwing a policeman through the stratosphere. I already have enough issues as it is. We have one with the beady stick back here. Let's go check him out real fast. How's it going there, home slice? You can tell these guys are on a very strict regimen of exercise and dieting. Over here, we have a sausage sticking out of the... <laughs> the freaking refrigerator. How do I do this? Like the epic sausage flip. I feel like I should take one with me if I'm going to jail. Hi, guys. He oh. Oh, shit. Hold on. Can I, can I like sneak past you guys and close this? Apparently not. Uh, we do have another sausage laying over here, so I will go ahead and grab that because like I said, that may be the last sausage I have in quite some time. If I try and, like, jump past you guys, is that going to be an issue? It probably will. Is there anything I have in here to escape the law? Someone said use the mini bike and you can escape the police? Well, I don't have the mini bike inside. Uh, I do have access to finish super strength, which I'm not going to utilize. But let us take this quick, brief moment to just check some things. Because I guess there was another thing that was added to the game that's kind of new. I mean, this is like super small, but at the same time, kind of cool. They're shelving it here now. So you have a place to put all your beer, eh? This way you don't have to stack all your beer inside of the, the train and trophy area over there. Although I guess you could keep it near the uh, topless gun show. All right, boys, here we go. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Damn it. I thought maybe, you know, if I jumped just right, I could get away with it. But no, you get sucked with a friggin' beady stick right in the chiclets. Oh, look at this rusted up crap hole. Reminds me a lot of my toilet. This is my toilet. This is my toilet. It's like the exact same one. Look at it. It's like they just ripped it out of our house and brought it over here. What the hell is this? We get a boom box? <laughs> You gotta be kidding. Why would they give us, of all things, a boom box? Uh, all right, hold on. Let's see, where the hell are we? Hold on. Ugh! Damn it, I can't get on top of the beds. I'm trying to get on top of the bed to see if I can see any better out here. Well, maybe we can kind of go this way. All right, boys, where are we? Can you tell from that tree <laughs> right there where we are? I have no clue. Supposedly, oh. The light was off, the light is now on. Oh, all right. Supposedly, jail day's 22. You gotta be shitting me. We're not spending 22 days in jail. I got plans for this. But supposedly, you can, uh, you cannot see the jail from the outside, but you, and you can only see the jail cell from the inside. That's kind of interesting. Now, there is a way I imagine we could get out of here if we wanted to. If I punch the air enough times, I will get very, very, very thirsty. I don't know what happens if I, uh, if I get so thirsty that it goes into the red. Will they, will they help a brother out? Will we, will we just die and end up somewhere else? I really have no clue. Uh, supposedly you get a food tray as well. I don't know if that happens when you get finally hungry enough or what. Can I interact with anything else in here? Can't even really flush the toilet. Although, to be fair, we couldn't flush our toilet. I don't know if it's just backed up or what. All right, let's see what's on the radio. Yeah! Yes! Is this, uh, is this Topless Gun playing right here? Oh, God. What else we have? We've got, uh, Finnish Farm Channel? Is that a goat in the background crying out softly? Those are, or lambs. Goats or lambs. What? What the hell was that? What was that? Oh, hi! Ooh, cheesecake! Ah, fantastic Yeah! Fantastic cheesecake. This sounds like the guy that I have to clean the shit well of all the time. The guy who pinches his nose, who's like, You have that my shit well is full of uh, crap again. If you could uh, come and pick that up, please. This is the most... 
And this sounds like Timo right over here. What sounds like the damn shop owner. He's got his own show. I guess in a town this big, it's not unusual. Oh god, these channels. Alright. I've had enough for right now. You guys are gonna have to let me know what the hell they were saying on there. Can we go to sleep or anything in here? Oh! I just thought about this. Here we go. The finished headbutt. The finished headbutt will teach us where we are. I feel like we're right by our house or something. Hold on. Uh. I don't know. It's like we're in a tiny little segment. Look at this. It's like there's forest on that side and there's forest on that side. Anything through here? Oh, there's a hallway. There's more. Crap, there's a fancy door over there as well. And like a poop stain on the wall. <laughs> Going to sleep in jail. Oi, 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 oi. That's what you say to yourself when you're freaking going to sleep in jail. Is there a shower or anything? Like, are we going to be able to get clean or... Is it freaking dinner time yet or what? What the crap's going on here? Screw this. I know I'm getting out of here. I'll show you boys right now. You got to punch the air a couple hundred times and we'll be fine. Jail? Jail can't hold gray. Jail can't hold gray. 22 days in jail. I think not, you scumbags. Can we finish headbutt? Push the door open. That works for the car all the time. <laughs> nope. The jumping push does not work. Oh, it worked. Ah, screw you. I'm free. <laughs> it's a picture of the jail cell. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of My Summer Car. We got to go to jail finally. Until next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love.